stakeholders and professionals from the Igbo and Yoruba nationalities are scheduled to meet on January 15 to discuss the way forward regarding Nigeria's myriad of socio-economic challenges. The meeting, which will be hosted by an organization, Fatherland Group, is also aimed at addressing the troubled relationship between Igbo and Yoruba nationalities, the two biggest ethnic group, groups in southern Nigeria. According to the convener, Dr. Dele Ogun, the meeting will draw professionals from across Nigeria and the diaspora. In a release, Ogun, a United Kingdom-based lawyer and historian, said the historic meeting we hold this January 15th being the anniversary of the day Nigeria witnessed her first military coup led by Major Kaduna Ezogu and other radical soldiers with the stated objective of cleansing a rotten political system. The coup went awry after being hijacked by reactionary soldiers, an event that led to the counter coup of 29 May 1966, political instability, and then a civil war that lasted for 30 months. The war and its aftermath continued to dominate bitter debates between Igbo and Yoruba people with each trading blame. Opportunity, opportunist politicians have over the years exploited the rivalry with a selfish harvest of parochial political fortunes to the dismay of to the dismay and detriment of millions of Yoruba and Igbo people who are naturally blood bound by circumstances of faith and commerce even in the midst of the bitter rivalry. The theme of the January event is tagged Yoruba and Igbo speaking with one voice from a shared experience with the to Biafra. The summit is intended to find a common ground in the face of mountain common challenges occasioned by instability and existential threat to the lives of millions of Nigerians. This will be a step towards building a new constructive relationship between generations of Igbo and Yoruba people who have been divided by hostile narratives which have sown seeds of discord since the beginning of the campaign for Nigerian independence in which the two great civilizations played the leading roles but in which both have been poorly served. The process of reconciliation is to be aided by Dr. Biki S.V. Miyuku, who was the Chief Executive of the South African Truth and Reconciliation Commission, headed by Bishop Desmond Tutu. The conference will be charged by J.O. Williams. Speakers at the event include Emeritus Professor Emmanuel Chukwedu Unweze, former Nigeria, former Vice Chancellor of University of Benin, Professor Banji Akintoye, the world leader of Elana Omo, Omo Udua, the Yoruba Global Movement, Timothy Modu Jr., as well as historian Ogun. The Zoom event is expected to draw prominent Nigerian scholars and professionals at home and in the diaspora. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, that is what a lot of people have been calling for. This people these uh, groups are supposed to be together working together but unfortunately nothing is happening nothing is happening and some people are really benefiting for uh with that and it's just they they are really bonded together yoruba and Igbos, they are really bonded together well we biafras are already in a deal with the great oduduaris nigeria was never one and would never be we are different in everything right from the plantation the earlier Nigeria split, the better for us. Cats and rats having meeting for the first time in history. Let's see whether it will end in peace. Like, seriously? Mm. Of course, you should understand that some people from the other side, they will not be happy with this because that is exactly what they want. How is that your business? Okay, this is Suleiman Ibrahim is saying, cats and rats having meeting for the first time in history. Let's see whether it will end. But they've been doing some things together. It's just that some few selfish, few selfish individuals have been finding the embers of disunity, which they've been falling for. Well, we are tired of a uh, Fulanis. Fulanis are happy about Boko Haram scholarship and employment. Okay, if every upcoming Igbo guy forgets. Forgot uh, whose Yorubas are. I'm certain the late 
warlord, the great Ikemba of Ne, we won't forget. Let all their discussion agreements be on how to be departed from this terrorist region that are drawing us back. I don't see one Nigeria working at all. We are too greedy, selfish, jealous, and wicked to ourselves. We should just go our separate ways. Very interesting, but Fulani Awusa too must be invited for it to be successful. Like, seriously? <laughs> but I don't think they are invited because they've already, they've already made their plan. Awusa will come with Daga. They are the problem the zoo have. We did not need Boko Haram. Okay. Uh, it won't work. They are two uh, variables. Why not is a constant. I can't stop laughing. Fade politicians and fade opposition politicians, whom and all patriotic want to come together to form a strong ally policies against northerners. United we stand, divided we fall. One Nigeria is all I want. Okay. Uh, my goodness. But to be to be a Nigeria is not by force. Chai, unity beggars everywhere. Oh my goodness. Thank God it's all that is all that you want, not all that we want. Okay, since this one says he wants one Nigeria, but some are saying no, 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 we don't want one Nigeria. You are afraid because you contribute nothing to Nigerian development. That is why you want Nigeria, one Nigeria. Hmm, they are still calling them unity beggars. Those two major tribes are two major problems of this country: greed, selfishness, over sabi, treasury, and all of that. Uh, of course, if you have done something for a very long time and it's not really favoring you, I think the common sense, the common sense, will tell you that you have to change strategy because all of those things uh, did not help anybody. Be it a uh, grid, be it a uh, whatever from a boat uh, size, has not really helped them. This is a kind of development caliphate boys and their British masters have dreaded for over a century. I welcome this united front for progress. Now these developments will show them, Pepe. Fulani will pay some Yoruba and Igbo money. Mongas in the name of elders to come and counter this uh, before tomorrow morning. Bet me. Finding ways to deceive themselves again. You better wake up and Nigeria. All they are doing is politics meeting. I want it to be very ethnic group. No superiority among them. We are all brought to this world. For the purpose of worship, we need to come together to end ethnic fighting. Good, but I don't really see any serious or unhealthy rivalry between Igbo and Yorubas. We are in a very cordial relationship. Just that Fulani, Hausa Fulanis are using Nigeria federal government's power and institution to manipulate us. Long live Odudua and Biafra Republic. We don't have any problem with Yoruba. You guys should go and sit down. God bless Biafra and Odudua. We will exercise patience between the two ethnic groups. Igbo is most underrating human beings in the history of mankind i heard you about to exercise patience first so the agreements will last forever some people are of the opinion that okay it's a welcome development but some people are seeing it from a different angle of course you are not going to blame them because of a uh, their experiences and what had happened in the past so guys let's hear your opinion what do you think about this uh, reconciliation or this meeting between these two uh tribes